It was pretty scary to walk out there with my sign the first time. And afterward, it took me two more years to start doing it consistently. But it makes sense to me. As a teenager, I remember hearing my parents' stories of World War II and thinking, how could this have gone on in one part of the world while somewhere else people were living life as usual? Somehow for me, the fact that during much of the war, most people around the world remained silent was the most painful part. After the attacks, I kept wishing I could do something. Something that would be my personal response. You know, I have this vision of like, going out into the street and just talking to people and saying, you know, this is crazy, we have to do something. I sent an email to everyone uh, on my email list and I made this public commitment to bow on the 11th of each month at 8.46 a.m. when the first plane hit. Maybe it's not as crazy as I once thought to feel that we are all responsible for what happens in the world. Whether or not we choose to see it that way, we are all of us ultimately members of the same human family. Every time I want to yell at my kids or do something that's not very nice, if I can take a breath, and I don't always do, but if I can really, really bow and say, yeah, I can feel like hurting them, I can feel like saying something that's going to be painful. But I don't have to. I can choose not to do it. I really think that peace is not something that can be legislated by governments or, or mandated. I think it's something that as many people as possible need to keep birthing. The, the, the tragedy of this magnitude needs to be redeemed, needs to be turned around, needs to be harnessed. As long as we are in a human form, we are, all of us, all of us, capable of very scary things. How do we honor all the lives lost in the Twin Towers tragedy? How do we honor the countless victims of violence throughout history? What would they want us to speak up for on their behalf? I would like to start a campaign to declare 9-11 the International Day of Compassion.